Face. That moment when you find a beautiful boy. What if you dead with me? It flew in my brain. Why are you playing with yourself? Never had Mexican food. Get the fuck out of the room! It's like Minecraft! Hey, what's up, guys? Psychiatrist, I think, something like that. Some uh, called that. Um, Jonesy is a teacher. You catch that fish, Danny. You catch it. What a good read. Oh, you're back. Well, today on the block we have the shining, and first off is the main idea. And the main idea of the shining is a man named Jack Torrance loses his job as a teacher, so he needs to. Uh, so um, he, he gets a job at the Overlook as the caretaker for the winter. Um, and there's been some problems with the last caretaker, Grady. He uh, killed him and his family. Um, um, and so, you know, his family's scared and a lot of creepy stuff goes on in the hotel. I don't want you to tell you what the specific, the specific stuff, uh, that happen, creepy stuff that happens on in the hotel, because I feel like everything I would say about this book is so good that it would be a spoiler. And so, Jack, uh, as they say in the book, the hotel gets to him, and he just goes crazy, and I mean, I don't want to tell you anymore, and, uh, it's just really good, and so I'll give it five stars for the main idea. Characters. Now, the characters in this book are uh, very different in every way, and there's not a lot. There's, um, I can't, I'll name a couple small ones too, but every one of them is different in every single way, and they're, like, the total opposite of cardboard cutouts these characters are, because you get to know the past of everyone, what has happened, what's about them, and it's just crazy, and Stephen King's great at that, how he describes characters, and it, and what kind of characters he makes, and how different he makes them, and it just, it makes the characters really good. So, Jack Torrance is a man with his family, and he keeps losing his job. He's a writer. He lost his job at a school as a teacher, so he has to um, he uh, had to get a job at the Overlook. And he's an alcoholic, and he's trying to get through that. And uh, then Wendy is his wife, and she is always she's kind of always uh, treating Jack uh, like a baby and Danny like a baby. But, except whenever, uh, Wendy, she gets all crazy, she blames Jack on everything, and Jack never gets a chance to talk. So, Wendy's always to blame Jack and what he does, and then, like I said, Danny, he has something, and it's called The Shining. And he can, um, talk to this one guy named Dick Holleran, because he has a, a big case of The Shining, too. And like I said, Wendy, uh, just treats him like he's a baby, well, he is a, he's a kid, but, and then she's, uh, and then he's, it's just fun to go back from character to character like this does, there's a chapter in here that says, uh, Wendy, Jack, and Danny, and you just, and he, and at the very end, you get to go back from character to character, and I think that's fun to do, and, uh, I just like that, so I'm gonna give characters a good fuzz doors. writing Stephen King and that's about all I can say but I mean this is early Stephen King but not that real early Stephen King uh, this was his third book and 
I mean, so far, the best book I have ever read with this writing, just everything was great about this book. I never had to go back and reread or anything. Like, it just went by so smooth. I read, I usually read about 120 pages in a week, you know, because I'm not just, like, home alone. I mean, I have to do school and all that, and then I come home and read. But, and so usually I'll finish, uh, what, uh, 660 pages. I'd finish it in usually six weeks. I finished this... Three weeks at the least, four weeks at the most. I can't remember, but yeah, I finished it so quick because the writing was just great and I never had to go back and do anything. And definitely, definitely five stars. If I could, I'd go over. Humor. This book, and this is one thing Stephen King does great at, even though he's known for horror, uh, he can add a lot of funny stuff in his books. And this one, by far, is the funniest I've ever read. It has hilarious parts in it. And I remember whenever Jack, at one point, uh, he's sitting up at the top of the slide and he's like, This is the big boy slide, and I uh, cracked up and... Um, there's a lot of other hilarious parts, and I mean, humor, definitely five stars. Uh, one of Stephen King's, uh, it's known for horror, but I mean, the comedy's crazy, it's hilarious. Journey. I kind of already told you about Journey when I was talking about writing, uh, and Journey, just how fast it flows, how fast I read it, um... And, like I said, at least three weeks, most four weeks. And that is a crazy amount of how fast I read books like this. Um, and it was just because it was really good and I just kind of, like, burned through it. And I, I just, it was a great book and I read through it real fast. So, Journey, five stars. And I loved while I was reading it. Like, whenever I was done, I was very sad that it ended. Ending. This is where spoilers come in. So if you don't want to, you know, if you're planning on reading it or you are reading it, you know, just exit out or skip through it until you see the stars come. Okay, the ending. So the ending made me cry, but it also made me happy. Because in the ending, Jack is with Danny in the hall, and he's just, and it's not Jack, and then Jack turns into Jack, and he's talking to Danny as Jack, and he's telling him to run away, and stuff like that, and I just, and I thought that was the saddest part of the book, whenever, not, J whenever the monster in Jack's body, Jack took over, and he was talking to Danny, telling him to go, and then, and then, so I was sad, I had to see Jack die in the explosion of the Overlook, and then, but I was happy to see Danny and Wendy at the end, and Dick Holleran, and they were all there. Dick Holleran still got his job back as a cooker at the uh, Red Lodge, and Wendy and Danny are fishing, and Danny caught a fish, and so that, that book ending was everything. It was a little bit of sad, and it was a little bit happy, and it was a little bit of everything, so definitely five stars. And overall, and since everything else was five stars, it obviously has to be five stars, but I'm going to tell you why. Because, like I said, I, I explained to you in Main Idea, the Main Idea was great, characters were great, writing was great, humor was terrific, journey was amazing, and ending was perfect in every way, so obviously, overall is five stars, which gives us our first season 35 out of 35 so thank you for watching a Stephen King book review this was The Shining and if you're going to start with the Stephen King book and actually this thing is pretty big and it's one of his smaller ones and it uh, if you could, if you have free time, you can burn away through this book faster than I even did. And 
it's just an amazing book to start with Stephen King. Uh, if you're reading in chronological order, it'll pop up very quickly and make sure you read that one because it will go Carrie Salem's Law and then this. Just, if you're reading Stephen King, make sure you read The Shining because it is an absolute great book in every way you can think of. So, here it is and I'll be back to you with another review.